What's up guys? Welcome back to Just In Time. It's actually really late right now and I'm kind of tired but I just can't sleep because something's just been bugging me in my head. Uh, for some of you that don't know, I recently got a job. So I've been working, uh, this is my third day because it's Wednesday right now that I'm filming it. And something's just been noodling up inside my head. I, I met uh, with Rebecca's friends the other day and for the people, for her friends that were going to work already, in fact all of my other friends that are going to work right now, every one of them is just like, oh, he, here's the end of my life, like this is the beginning of the end of my life, I'm going to work for 50 years and then I'm going to die and then life is going to suck and everything is going to suck, work is going to suck and everything around life is going to suck because I'm going to start working now and it just kept on getting to my head because like we, we took so long to finish our studies and then now that I finally finished my studies here I am trying to find a job and just the job finding process is already such a pain and I went through so many negative emotions when I was going you know looking for the jobs getting interviews and all that and now that I got the job it's like I now understand like how working adults and how my parents and how all those other people in the working class when they say they have no time dude they're not freaking joking i mean like yeah we can always find more time that but put that aside dude, they have a lot to do man and dude, i've only been working for three days and i'm already feeling that helplessness that like everything is just like crushing me because there's so much to do and the second like, I'm not even joking with you when I tell you that, like, let's just say, like, my, for me, my working hours were supposed to be 10 to 4. So I go in with the mentality of 10 to 4, but I leave at, like, 7. The next day, I leave at 8. Today, I left at, like, 7, 7.30. And the thing is that, like, the working hours are getting longer and longer. And, and what really hit me, what really made me think a lot about this was today, I was... I was really busy, I had work all the way till night and right after night I got my church commitment so I went straight to church after that and I was already late for that church so I was eating my dinner in the car on the way to church and then the second, I'm not even joking, this is not an exaggeration, I literally finished my dance practice at church, I go, I come out of the elevator and my phone rings and it's work. Dude, I've been in the job for three days and like I bring my work home already and like I got my laptop on the floor, but I got no Wi-Fi in this house, so like, you know, then it just, every, every now when I'm trying to make appointments with my friends, when I'm trying to meet my friends and everything, it's like, dude, I need to get back to you like next week, because every single day of this week, I got no time no more, it's like right after work, I got one or two things to do, and my whole night is just like packed up, and it just really started to make me feel so helpless inside, like, is this really what I want to do for the rest of my life? Is this work thing really what I want to do for the rest of my life? Am I really going to work for the rest of my life and then just die? Like that friend was saying, this is the beginning of the end of my life where I work for five decades and I just die. Like, is that, is that really what we were born into this world to do? I mean, like, even if you find what you really, really love and everything, like, you're going to do it for 50 years? You're going to work for somebody else for 50 years? And then die? Like, that's just, it's just, the concept just seems so bleak to me. And I, I got nothing else to say. That's really what I wanted to get off my chest. And yeah, man, dude, stuff just looks real bleak right now, bro. Thanks for watching anyway. Thanks for listening to my rants. I'm not sure if any of you other fresh grads feel this way, but this is what I'm thinking about at midnight alone in my room.